Hi students, today we are going to discuss about one important small and short notes, hypolipidemic drugs. This is very very important question for your both cholesterol metabolism as well as atherosclerosis formation, right? So first you should mention about the name of the hypolipidemic agents. We are classifying into drugs and non-drugs related like aspirin and statin are the drugs which in here decreases the cholesterol level right third one is nicotinic acid which also reduces the cholesterol level as well as increases the hdl cholesterol level right and next one is <coughs> some resins right but cholesteramine like bile resins which blocks the reabsorption of cholesterol in the enterohepatic circulation right next one is fibrates flow fibrates uh, sometimes uh, fibrates they are actually uh, decreasing the production of cholesterol rich vldl right so fibrates flow fibrates and the last one is as usual vitamin e it is an important antioxidant which also reduces the cholesterol level right now how the statin reduces the cholesterol level? Actually, the regulatory enzyme for cholesterol biosynthesis is HMG-CoA reductase. So, this statin acts on that HMG-CoA reductase enzyme on cholesterol synthesis pathway and blocks the cholesterol synthesis. That is why, that is how cholesterol reduction occurs by statin group of drugs. Atorvastatin, Simvostatin, these are the examples. Second one is aspirin. You know the aspirin action. It is widely used to prevent thrombus formation because of its antiplatelet activity. It prevents the atherosclerosis as well as myocardial infarction. Aspirin, right? Thrombolysis. Next one is <coughs> nicotinic acid. It usually inhibits lipolysis as well as VLDL and LDL formation. At the same time, it increases the the HDL cholesterol level also which is very useful for us right last one is fibrates this actually increased beta oxidation of fatty acids and decreasing the production of cholesterol rich VLDL and lastly vitamin E it actually scavenging the cholesterol by free radical scavenging that is Antioxidant vitamin will minimize the oxidation of the LDL and so atherosclerosis may be reduced. It is a clinical effect for the 